Welcome back to the series where I talk about random math stuff every day. Today's topic is complete bullshit, but I think it's interesting, so here we go. If you pick four random points in the plane, what is the probability that they connect up into a concave quadrilateral? The answer is 50%. No, no, it's not. But here's how you get 50%. After picking three random points, you'll have a triangle, and our last point will determine if our quadrilateral is concave or not. For example, if our fourth point is here, we'll get a concave quadrilateral. But if it's here instead, our quadrilateral will be convex. So let's try to figure out which points lead to concave and which points lead to convex. If you mess around a little bit, you'll notice that if the fourth point is inside this triangle, you'll get concave. And this makes sense if you think about it. If your four vertices look like this, with one vertex being quote unquote between the other three, connecting up the vertices will always result in a cave. On the other hand, if your four vertices look like this instead, you'll get a convex quadrilateral. So it all depends on whether or not you can find a vertex in between the other three. Okay, screw the math, I need to go on a rant. This video was supposed to be out 10 hours ago, but then the file of the timelapse got corrupted, so I only had half of the timelapse. And before re-recording the second half, I thought that maybe restarting my laptop might prevent this problem from happening again. Okay, back up a bit. I draw these videos with a pen tablet or stylus, whatever you want to call it. After restarting, it just stopped working. More specifically, it would just completely freeze for like 2 seconds after pressing a key. And I need to constantly use the keyboard, I can't function without keybinds, I need those. But I discovered that this only happened with the mouse mode of the pen tablet. What the hell is that? For pen tablets, there are two modes. Normal mode, if your pen is on the top right of the pen tablet, your cursor is also on the top right. Makes sense, right? The problem with this mode is that you can't really see where you're going. If you lift up your pen and move it to the bottom left to do something, your cursor is going to land somewhere over there, and it's never where you want it to go. And mouse mode, the one I always use, it's basically just a mouse. You can actually pick up your pen without the cursor teleporting across the screen. So yeah, after restarting, mouse mode wasn't working. So now I have to draw everything in normal mode, which I haven't ever touched in my three years of using this pen tablet. But the bright side is that when I was fiddling with the pen tablet settings trying to fix the keyboard freeze problem, I discovered that you can make it so that the thickness of your pen stroke depended on how hard you press down on your pen. Look at this, it looks so much nicer than before. Anyway, with that out of the way, we can go back to the three vertices situation. As stated previously, if our fourth vertex is in this triangle, we'll get concave. So let's color this entire area with blue. Blue regions will represent concave and red regions will represent convex. You may be tempted to color in the rest of the area with red, but notice that if your fourth vertex is here, then you'll still end up with one vertex between the other three. So this point should be colored blue instead. In fact, if your fourth point is anywhere in this region, then this vertex will end up between the other three. So we colored the region blue along with... Oh, okay. As soon as I try to use the line tool, the app just decides to crash. Apparently it can't handle 30 pixels. Some of you ask what software I animate on. I use Pencil 2D. Do not use Pencil 2D! It is horrendous! Control Z only works up to 12 times in a row for some reason. It is free though, I will give it that. Maybe it's the best free one out there, I wouldn't know. I haven't tried them and I'm not trying them either. I'm in too deep, I memorized all the keybinds and I'm too lazy to go pick up another animation software. Okay. What I was about to say was, we color this region blue along with these other two regions which have basically the same thing going on, and we color everything else red. Now that we've colored every part in, our original question becomes, what percentage of this area is blue? Try to figure this one out yourself, ignoring all the mathematical red alerts going off in your head right now. Hint, remember that you are picking your points from anywhere on the plane, so it might be helpful to zoom out. Why did I even ask you to figure it out yourself? I gave you the answer a minute ago. Anyway, it is 50% because each blue region can be matched up to a corresponding red region. So our final answer is, half of all quadrilaterals are concave. There's definitely nothing wrong with that statement. Anyway, hope you found that interesting and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.